As one of the longest running and most recognizable names in Canadian grindcore, Fuck the Facts continues to deliver their brand of bastardized grindcore with no end in sight. Fuck the Facts is a Juno-nominated and CMW-nominated Canadian grindcore band from Gatineau, Quebec. They formed in the late 90s began as a solo project sometime in, in 1997 by Topan Das. The release of Discoing the Dead in early 2001 led to positive feedback and a full band was formed to continue. Having toured hundreds of thousands of kilometers throughout North America and Europe, Fuck the Facts had performed at some of the biggest festivals and sweated it out in some of the smallest basements. From 2006 to 2011, Fuck the Facts released three albums via underground powerhouse label Relapse Records. Upon the completion of their contract, it was decided that it was time to put the finishing touches on the proverbial full circle, returning to the world of fierce independence and creative control by launching their own label, Noise Salvation. Their most recent releases were produced entirely at their own studio, self-released, and shows Fuck the Facts efforts as an entity continuing to grow musically and personally while developing a deeper understanding. After many early recordings, including split tapes with groups from around the world, Fuck the Facts began developing a name in the underground with fans of Grind. Fuck the Facts then released split cassettes with Cult of the Damned, Long Dream Dead and SMES before releasing another full-length cassette entitled Vagina Dancer in September 2000 on Slovak label Where Late the Birds Sang. Vagina Dancer showcased a more experimental noise side style to fuck the facts than the self-titled release which featured more of a grindcore style. The next full-length, Discoing the Dead, was recorded in 2000 and released on Ghetto Blaster Recordings, another label run by Topan, on February 6, 2001. The band has since coined the terms bastardized grindcore and mulletcore to describe their sound. Topan has stated numerous times that the name Fuck the Facts was chosen in part as a statement about his attitude towards music he wrote. He tried not to feel hampered by genre labels and that is reflective in the musical style. The earlier Fuck the Facts recordings up until approximately 2000 featured a combination of grindcore and noise. Though these two genres are prominent during this era of recording, many other styles crept into the, mu into the music as well, including death metal, crust punk, electronic, and even as some as diverse as disco and jazz. When Discoing the Dead was released in early 2001, it retained many of the experimental styles, paving the way for the beginning of the first incarnation of Fuck the Facts as a full band. Vagina Dancer and Escanta, recorded in 2000 and 2001 respectively, are the core of these noise recordings, with some other tracks being featured on various compilations and splits. Mullet Fever was released in 2002 and featured a more punk-influenced grindcore sound. Many of the songs included more experimental for grindcore styles, including rap, hip-hop, jazz, noise, and electronic. For Backstabber Etiquette, recorded in 2002, the musical style became more heavily influenced by death metal and showed more technical aspirations. Legacy of Hopelessness showcased a bit of a departure for the band in that it had a lot more electronic influences. Stigmata High Five represents the latest musical style of the band. The grindcore and death metal elements are still present, but so are more progressive and experimental ideas mixed with metalcore elements. The album contains longer songs with more intricate riffs and atypical time signatures. Discord Mexico contains shorter songs than Stigmata High Five, but retains a similar overall musical style. Fuck the Facts latest album, Desire Will Rot, is available on vinyl, CD, cassette, and digital on their website. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. We'll be back with more Canadian indie music.